Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen with another life coding session and today we are going to tackle the problem of finding the median of two sorted array. And guess what? We are going to implement it in Python, but don't worry, I will provide also implementation in other languages. So first thing first, what's the problem uh, we are tackling? So we have two sorted array, num1 and num2. And the goal is to find the median value after merging this array. So the kicker is we want to do it in O log uh, minimum MN time complexity. So uh, sound uh, challenging. So let's uh, look at task. So if we uh, got uh, one, three and two array, uh, after merging, it will be one, two, uh, three. So uh, our median value is uh, two. And if we have uh, one, two, and also sorted three, four. Uh, yeah, it become uh, one, two, three, four merged array. And here is our uh, medium value. So uh, two, three, two plus uh, three divided by two is two and a half. And it's uh, our output as well, for example, number two. So uh, really a straightforward task, but to solve it uh, efficiently, it might be a bit tricky. So, uh, so finding uh, the uh, median of two sorted array is uh, fundamentally about partitioning those arrays in such a way that every element on the left partition is less than every element on the right partition. And the number of elements in the left partition is either equal to or one less than the number in the uh, right partition. And we will be using binary search to find this perfect partition. But here is the twist. We are not applying binary search to find a particular element. Instead, we are using it to find the perfect partition that split merged array into two halves uh, following the rule uh, mentioned previously. So we will uh, partition num1 at point partition x and num2 at point partition y. And these points will be uh, so chosen that they divide their respective array into two parts. Max left will be the greatest element on the left side and minimum right will be the smallest element on the right side. And all right, so let's move into the first part of uh, our code. So uh, ensuring num1 is the smaller uh, array. So, if len uh, num1, num1, num2, num2, uh, num1. So uh, ensuring, uh, yeah, uh, num1 is the smallest array. Uh, so we just swap it and why we do this. Uh, so it's a great question. And we want num1 to be the smaller array because we will be applying binary search uh, on it and it makes the algorithm faster by reducing the number of elements we have to uh, look through. So now we will uh, initialize variables. So mn will be len num1 and len num2 and low high will be zero and m. So uh, what are these variables? So here m and n are the length of uh, num1 and num2 respectively, and low and high uh, will serve as the boundaries for our binary search. And step three will be the binary search uh, loop. So while low less than high, uh, partition x will be low plus high divided by two without remainder and partition y mn one, two minus partition x. So what's happening here? We are started our binary search loop and the partition x and partition y points uh, will divide num1 and num2 respectively into two parts mentioned before, uh, left half side and right half side. So uh, now uh, step uh, four, uh, finding max uh, left and minimum right. So max 
x will be float infinity partition x zero else partition x minus one and max y will be float infinity uh, if partition y zero else num two partition y minus one and minimum x will be float infinity if partition x m else uh, else it will be nums one and partition x and minimum y will be float infinity if partition y n else num two and partition y okay so uh are we there yet almost so we are calculating the max left uh, and minimum uh, right and for the uh, partition this will help us determine if we have found the correct partition where uh, max left uh, is le less than uh, minimum uh, right so now the part is to validate a partition and update our uh, boundaries so it's also crucial so if max less than minimum y and max y uh, minimum x mn modulo 2 0 then return max max x max y minimum min divided by 2 and else it will be return max of max x and max y and else if max x greater mini y high will be partition minus one and else low be partition plus one so uh that's all so here is the logic uh we have reached the core logic and in this step we validate our partition points. So if max uh, uh, x is uh, less than minimum y and max y uh, is less than minimum x, we have found the perfect partition. And uh, yeah, so we can now uh, calculate the median based uh, on whether the total number of elements is odd or uh, even. However, if max uh, x is greater than minimum y, it means the perfect partition lies to the left. So we update high uh, partition x uh, minus one. Likewise, if uh, max y is greater than minimum uh, x, the partition lies to the right. So we update low as partition uh, plus one. Uh, yeah, so. Now let's run it to verify it's uh, working. So hopefully it will. So, yep. And uh, given first example two, as mentioned previously, and second one, two, three, four, two and a half. So quite easy, but uh, let's submit it to see how it uh, performed. So hopefully uh, it will work. So yeah, uh, it's working perfectly. And we beat 68% with respect to runtime and also 69 with respect to memory i think uh, previously i got even yeah 80 milliseconds so beating 94 percent but basically it's a uh, quite uh, efficient approach and uh, really uh, elegant so uh, we dissected a complex problem broke it down to its essential and then tackled it step by step so this wasn't just about finding a median it was a quite interesting algorithmic uh, problem solving masterclass. So don't forget to check uh, out uh, the code in the description in the other languages as well. And if you found this session uh, valuable or interesting, do smash the like button and share it uh, around. So uh, we will be back uh, with more coding challenges, uh, tutorials, machine learning, tech, and uh, much more. So subscribe if you didn't uh, yet. So uh, until then, keep practicing. Stay motivated and happy coding.